Investing can be a bit like dating. You're looking for the perfect match that makes your heart and wallet skip a beat. Just remember, in the world of finance, it's best to flirt with diversification and commitment to long-term relationships with your investments. Who said money talk can't be entertaining? We have a lot of financial gurus nowadays who teach you how to get rich by diversifying your stocks portfolio and real estate investments. Stocks can be like a thrilling roller coaster, full of ups and downs. While some investors thrive on the excitement, others find it nerve-wracking. The market's unpredictability can make it challenging to feel in control of your financial destiny. When you invest in stocks, you're essentially entrusting your money to companies and their management. While this can lead to potential gains, it's crucial to research and choose investments wisely. Withdrawals from investment accounts can in fact have tax implications. The tax rate on capital gains depends on various factors, including how long you held the investment. Short-term gains are typically taxed at a higher rate than long-term gains where the maximum federal tax rate on long-term capital gains is 20%, and on short-term capital gains is almost double, up to 40% tax rate. In summary, my concerns highlight the complexities of the investment landscape, and it's crucial to tailor your approach to match your risk tolerance, financial goals, and understanding of the market. And that requires a lot of time and effort, a lot of stress and sleepless nights and no guarantee of making any profit by the end of the day. Because, well, even if you made some profit in 30 years with your investment journey, by that time there could be no gain in terms of dollar value, because of inflation your profit may be worth nothing. Now let's talk about real estate investments. Moderate income. Silicon Valley residents think about buying a single family home for themselves as the best investment in their future. Not considering the fact that even for $2 million, they can only buy a very old house that they will have to renovate or even demolish completely and then build a new house from scratch, which can take years and another $2 million or even more. Plus, I don't think they take into account their property taxes that are high as hell, as is for $2 million property, and if they renovate it, puff forget it. Their property tax will skyrocket immediately. If you count that and mortgage payments, they will have to work to pay for that one house all their life, sacrificing living their life to the fullest, like taking nice vacations and buying things. Not that it matters for everyone, some people prefer these sacrifices, thinking that once they pay off their house, they can then go for vacation. But let's face it, we live here now, and there's a huge difference between a man who does not have any debt and a man who does and will have a huge debt for another 15, 30 years. Can you see the difference? Just the quality of life and everyday burden has a tremendous difference. Another real estate investment option that is popular among moderate income residents is rental properties. It's not uncommon for aspiring investors to focus primarily on potential rental income without fully accounting for the various costs involved. Maintenance, repairs, property management fees, and unexpected expenses can eat into profits and impact the overall viability of the investment. The day-to-day -day management of rental properties can be demanding. From handling tenant concerns to ensuring property maintenance, being a landlord requires time and effort. Some investors underestimate the challenges of property management, especially when juggling it with a full-time job. Scaling a rental property business can be more challenging than it seems. As the number of properties increases, so does the complexity of management. Without a scalable and efficient system, expanding a rental property portfolio can become overwhelming. Silicon Valley's real estate market has its own dynamics. While property values have shown appreciation, the high cost of living and property prices can impact the feasibility of rental investments. It's crucial for investors to thoroughly research and understand the local market before diving in. For moderate income residents, the financial commitment required for purchasing and maintaining rental properties might be more substantial than anticipated. Now let's talk about something completely different that might never occur to you or you might have heard of but did not actually realize it. Investing in land in Silicon Valley. What? Land? Why? Because, my friends, it isn't just a transaction. Silicon Valley is only 1,854 square miles, and not all of that is available for development. With land becoming a scarce resource, you're not just investing, you're securing a piece of a limited commodity. As they say, scarcity breeds value. While the stock market can be a roller coaster and single family home appreciation varies, Silicon Valley land values have been on a consistent upswing. Over the last five years, land prices in strategic Silicon Valley areas have appreciated by an average of 8% annually. Imagine your investment doing a steady dance of appreciation, outpacing the market volatility. 
We've talked to many city officials in Santa Clara County and all of them keep saying there is no land, we don't have land. Well, that's not completely true. And you can see it for yourself. There is plenty of available land in Silicon Valley for sale or not. Let's look at the prices on Zillow. As anyone who works and lives here in Silicon Valley, we are only interested in land located close to downtowns of Santa Clara County cities like San Jose, Los Gatos, Saratoga, etc. Investments in land in Silicon Valley will definitely bring you profit. Let's look at the history of the growth of these lots. They have always only grown. Let's see, for example, on Zillow.com, if we search for a land to buy within Silicon Valley, we see that many lots available and have never been used and stay raw and unimproved and some of them have residential zoning already and permits ready to build. The only problem here is that it is way too expensive for one or two individuals to invest in. Even if you have saved $100,000 in cash, you still cannot afford to buy the land by yourself. In search of a solution that fits a moderate income resident budget, Balta Silicon Valley Affordable Home Project was created where participants unite and purchase land together. And all subsequent actions such as getting permits, utilities, maintenance are also paid for together. Land is a tangible investment that will continue to go up in value over time. You are protected by the corporation and your investment will inevitably grow. Picture this, investing in land is like buying a ticket to the future. A plot twist that might just give you the blockbuster ROI you've been dreaming of. Unlike stocks that sometimes feel like a roller coaster and single-family homes that have their own mortgage dramas, land just sits there, appreciating like a fine wine. It's the strong, silent type in the investment world. It's like finding the sweet spot between property dreams and budget reality. So, while others are busy chasing unicorns in the stock market, you're cultivating your own piece of the Silicon Valley dream, complete with numbers that sing a song of growth and prosperity. It's not just an investment, it's your backstage pass to Silicon Valley's ever-evolving success story. Thank you for staying with me until the end of this video. Visit Balta website for more information at www.baltainc.com. See ya!